Hello people of YouTube, my name is Chris Mon and welcome back to another video. In this video we're playing Pokemon Fire Red and we're continuing on a let's play. Hey guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Fire Red let's play. We are almost done. Yes, I can't believe we're almost done with the series. So in the last episode, uh, we uh, arrived at Cinnabar Island and uh, we defeated the gym leader. Why am I surfing? I, I have no idea. Um, and then at the end of that episode, uh, we did go into the... Uh, uh, one island, the, I don't know, the islands, one island, two island, three island, those things are called, and I didn't necessarily, uh, record it because, you know, it was more like filler, it wasn't in the, uh, regular games, well, I, I don't think it was in the regular games, don't quote me on that, but, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna heal just in case if I forgot to at Cinnabar Island, cause I am that idiotic, but yeah, basically, I just, I just went there for training, it, it's optional, I know that, but, I just didn't want to incorporate into the series because I want to, you know, finish the series as fast as possible, and I don't want to heal my Pokemon again. Thank you. But on the bright side, that uh, that event did help our Pokemon level up. Now all of our all of our Pokemon are now higher than level 40, which is good. So let's just go and have a brief look at my team. So we got our uh, starter, our Ace Infernus, the Charizard. Uh, yeah, we got Garfield, the Snorlax, level 40. Twitter, the Pidgeot. Poseidon, the Gyarados. King the Nido King and Sparky the Jolteon. I think that's I think that team's pretty good, uh, but not for this gym, because <laughs> uh, this gym or in this episode we're reversing the Viridian City Gym. Yes. So yeah, if you guys can remember, uh, we weren't allowed to go into the Viridian City Gym because uh, I don't know for some reason uh, doors were locked. But now since we uh, you know cycled through the entire Kanto region, we're finally officially allowed to reverse this gym and. Uh, Give some high I'm not gonna spoil who the gym leader is, but I'll let this guy tell you. Yo, champ in the making. Even I don't know the Verdian cities. I, Verdian uh, gyms leader. I, I don't know how to read. I'm sorry. But one thing's for certain that uh, he's the toughest of all the gym leaders. He needs specializes in ground type Pokemon. All right, so that means we're gonna have to rely on uh, once again Poseidon. I already have him up front. So yeah, another gym that we have to rely on a water Pokemon. See, I knew that uh, picking up Gyarados would be a good thing, and. Uh, I forgot that we were in a gym for a second, and we had to verse a bunch of gym, uh, not gym leaders, uh, a bunch of trainers, so, yeah, I'm gonna battle a bunch of, I'm gonna battle, you know, these trainers, you know, for easy, easy XP. Wow, level 37 only? Is my, I, I'm not quite sure, I looked on the wiki, and, uh, his highest Pokemon is supposed to be, like, level 50, and all these guys are just, like, level 37, and I don't know what this is all about, okay. My Pokemon may be a little bit underleveled, like always, but, uh, that's not gonna stop us. 982 XP. Okay, nice. Uh, Rhyhorn. That is actually... I'm gonna try out Infernus for this one, because I know he's not good at ground types, but... Charizard is, like, a flying type, and as you guys know, or you guys probably should know, uh... Ground types are, uh, ineffective against flying types. So basically, flying types are immune to ground. I don't know why I phrased it the other way around, it's just, uh, how I usually explain things. It takes me a while to get me used to that, and... Wow, that does a lot of damage for a move being not that very effective. All right, so uh, I think I think we're pretty good for this team. I think we're pretty set. And I can't believe that this series is about to be over. And of course, you use a hyper potion. You would. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I can't believe this series is about to be over. I mean, like, how many episodes has it been? I mean, this is probably episode 18. I think I should have probably checked. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, um, don't really know what else to, uh, to do after this. Actually, I do know what to do after this. Uh, we have to go, after this gym, um, we do get to go to the, uh, what is it called? Victory Road in order to verse the Elite Four or the Pokemon League. And then we get to verse all the four uh, Elite Four members and then finally the champion. Which I won't get into that much because I don't want to spoil anything for you in case if uh, you know, none of you played this game ever before. So yeah. So, for this gym, strategy is never bring out Jolteon, and I think we're good. <laughs> oh, no, no, oh, I should also say never bring out King, because he is a poison type, and poison are weak to, uh, ground. Mm. Okay, let's just, uh, bring up a side. No, this battle is probably taking a little bit too long, so I just skip to whenever, you know, I'm, uh, either out of this battle or, you know, about to face the gym leader or something. Alright, please tell him I'm going the right way. Oh, okay, yeah, I think I am going the right way. So, if we, uh, reverse all those trainers, then we can just loop around, and then, yeah, okay. 
Oh, we only had the first two trainers out of like seven. Okay, that's pretty good. Is that the shortest path I could have taken? I felt like there was a way that I could have, you know, avoid all of this without, avoid, without battling any trainers. Uh, I don't know. So anyways, yeah, let me, uh, oh, I did not mean to use Dragon Rage. Okay, well, let me just uh, finish this battle and I'll be versing the gym leader real quickly. Alright, and I'm back. I just uh, finished versing this leader and uh, guess who the gym leader is? Oh my god, if you can't uh, tell who the gym leader is, let me just tell you right now. Fwahaha, welcome to my hideout. I shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its for for formal glory. I, I can't speak, I'm sorry. But you have found me again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. So, uh, plot twist, uh, the 8th gym leader is actually the leader of Team Rocket, leader Giovanni. Wow, never expected that to happen, even though this game came out in, like, 2004. So, yeah, we're just gonna go with it. So, yeah, Giovanni's the, uh, final gym leader. Um, kind of surprising. Not quite sure what else she kind of expected. I mean, yeah, I, I guess they could have just made, like, a character to be the 8th gym, but... Eh, that, that kind of takes a point. Wow, we get a thousand... Well, 1,300 XP for that. Uh, why do I have Infernus up front now? Nah, we should probably bring out Gyarados. Yeah, Poseidon. You know, that also reminds me of another Pokemon theory. I don't know why, but all the Pokemon I catch, you know, relate to theories that I'm interested in. So, wow, level 50. Okay. So, actually, there's a theory that uh, the, the Dragonite line is supposed to be Gyarados. So, it's supposed to, like, there was a theory where it was supposed to be Dratini, Dragonair, and then Gyarados. And then it's supposed to be Magikarp to Dragonite. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I heard, and we hit one shot it. Kind of a late reaction, but we're just gonna go with it. Uh, let's try out Twitter for this gym, cause he should be, uh, he should be immune to all the ground type moves, unless if it's a, uh, you know, a like hybrid of rock and ground, then we'll have a little bit of trouble. But it's a Grio. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have like any uh, any rock type moves, and how does it know Slash if it doesn't have any arms? Ah. Uh, Slash is actually a pretty damaging move. Um, yeah. Wow, we already defeated three of its trainers and it hasn't even been, you know, five minutes. Uh, Needle Queen. Is this his ace? Or was that Rhyhorn his ace? Huh, not quite sure. Let's bring up Poseidon again, why not? Alright, wish these uh, techs can go faster. I probably, they're probably at normal tech speed. I should probably change it. Maybe a little bit too late now since, uh, you know, we're almost ending the game. Or near the end of the game, so. Wouldn't really have that much of an effect, but yeah. Please one hit it. Wow, it survives. Okay. Body slam. Uh, and of course, hyper potion. I just knew. I just knew it. Okay. Ah. What? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, this is good. this is gonna be the entire elite four right here. Okay, you're just gonna be like. They're gonna have like two Pokemon left. I'm gonna have like one Pokemon left. I'm gonna like one hit it or like near one hit it. It's gonna have like sturdy or something, heal, and then one shot my entire team. That's gonna happen whenever we reach the Elite Four. And that's uh kinda scary for that actually, the Elite Four, because I've only versed them once this in like this game or any time, you know, as I said before, I've only played this game completely once. One other time. This is gonna be my second. Because I am planning on finishing the series. Anyways, uh, we defeat Giovanni. Wow, just uh, rambling. Ha, that was a truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here's the Earth Badge. Wow, okay. Well, thank you for that. I got $5,000. Alright. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evidence that you're mastery as a Pokemon trainer. Whoopi, you can challenge the Pokemon Lee. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift as your Pokemon Lee challenge. Wow, Giovanni's actually being nice to us. Uh huh, who knows? It contains Earthquake. It is a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it uh, I made it when I ran the gym here far too long ago. Uh, I guess that's it for uh, reminiscence about the old times. Um, uh, yeah, wow, that was. That's it, basically. Wow, that's a lot easier than I expected. See? I told you. Like, the, uh,. The more and more we verse gym leaders, the easy and easy to get. I mean, like, I think it started with, like, Erica, and then everything just got easier then. Um, so, yeah, let me go heal my Pokemon, and I guess that's it for the episode. Wow. That fast. Hmm. Did not expect it to be that fast, but yeah, in the next episode, uh, we'll probably, you know, go through Victory Road. Maybe a little bit of a longer episode, because, uh, I mean, it depends on what I want to do. If I want to cut through all of it and just, like, you know, show you guys segments, I will do that, but I'm sort of undecisive right now. 
But yeah, I guess that's it for the video. If you guys like this video, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.